Hello everyone and welcome to my channel today. Hey, today I was asked by one of my friends about what was my favorite Star Wars book at, or video game or movie and today I'm going to be doing a little review on my favorite Star Wars book I ever read some time ago. Hope for everyone to see. Now let me bring my camera over here. It's called Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Here, here. This story takes place between Star Wars there's two movies, The Empire Strikes Back and The Return of the Jedi. Hi, Luke, Leia, and, and Lando are trying to rescue Han Solo from Boba the, the Fett, but in the meantime, the Empire is trying to build a new Death Star and get help from the dread crime lord Seizure, who wants to take over the Empire, by first replacing Darth Vader as the Emperor's right-hand man, and then eventually replace him, him eventually. Hey, this story was... It was written by Steve Perry, and I read it myself, and it was a wonderful story. But not only this story was told by a graphic novel, but it was also told by Dark Horse Comics and a video game. And I'm going to also be we'll show you the bit of that. Not it. Not that, too. Well, let me put this back. Set it back. All right. Now, the other way the story was told, first off, is through the comics by Dark Horse. And this is one of the comics, and I got this comic when I bought this two-figure and comic pack. And I'll do the whole I'll run down about this in another review. Ooh, and here's comic book number five of six. X, and I'll show you a couple of the pages. Is like here we got Luke Skywalker fighting to escape when he gets captured and true. And we have. Leia being seduced by Prince Seizure, or in, and she, he sort of kisses him. And here's somewhat of a good look at the outfit from the, the action figure. Here, a leather outfit and a silk hook gown to go with it. And that's mostly a little bit about the comic. Like this story, which came out in 1996. Another thing I have as far as her Shadows of the Empire her is these collectible metal cards. And they and here they are. Or right, each of them look like the comic cover of the six issues. This is it what issue one would be like. Issue two. Issue number three. Here's number four. And four. Five, which is the one I just showed you, do for the comic, and six. 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 And mostly the story was so popular that it was the only book, 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 book that also published a video game, game and action figures on like anything else. And the last thing I'll show you once I bring it up on this computer, it is about the video game, thing, which came first to the N64. And then about uh, eight to nine months later, it came to the PC. He, he, but mostly the game is focused on the new hero, Dash Rendar. He's a good friend of Han Solo, and he, he helps the Rebels by tracking down um, Boba Fett, protecting Luke Skywalker, and helping in the rescue of Princess Leia. And right now I have here from GameTrailer.com um, a special uh, retrospective of episode number seven, which tells about two video game games based on books and novel. Most primary one is Shadow of the Empire, and the other one's Knights of the Old Republic, and I'll get to that in another review. Let me set you guys up. There we go. Let me just... X-Wing series, and soon does more. Make it big enough. And enjoy.
the same passage of time. Each medium took its own liberties with the characters. The book arrived in March, the comics ran through October, and the video game was released on December 3rd. <laughs> Shadows of the Empire took place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. It was in this story bridge that Han Solo took a carbonite nap, Leia planned his rescue, Vader searched for his son, and Luke replaced the lightsaber sitting at the bottom of Cloud City. The Black Sun crime lord Prince Shizor and his accomplice Guri both made introductory appearances and sought revenge on Darth Vader by destroying the Sith Lord's recently revealed heir. Now here's the video game which focuses on our minor character, Dash Rendar. Even though it's ten levels, but it's worth it. The video game followed smuggler and smart guy Dash Rendar and his co-pilot droid, Lebo. The two helped out the Rebel Alliance and acted as Luke's personal bodyguards. Starting his story during the Battle of Hoth, Dash hopped into a snowspeeder and ended up on the short end of the battle to defend the shield generator. Two years before Rogue Squadron, this in-and-out-of-cockpit sequence became the first 3D flight across the snow caps of Hoth. Numerous players have confessed to never experiencing the rest of the game because they were busy replaying the first stage. Well, the first three levels is the Battle of Hoth, but the rest is on the story itself. The other nine levels took Dash to a junkyard on Fort Mandel in search of bounty hunter IG-88, a spaceport on Gaul in pursuit of kidnapper Boba Fett, the hive of Mos Eisley for a swoop chase, the Imperial freighter Suprosa to steal the Death Star 2 plans, Prince Shizor's palace to rescue Princess Leia, and finally Shizor's skyhook station orbiting above the Imperial City. <laughs> Players had a short time to get used to the Nintendo 64 analog stick before taking on Shadow's trio of gameplay perspectives. First person, third person, and an additional cinematic view were all available. Players could control their aim in third person and strap on a rechargeable jetpack to rocket through specific areas. A few dogfighting turret challenges popped up while Levo sat in the cockpit, and the finale gave you direct control of Dash's ship, the Outrider, as you circle through Shizor's Skyhook, alongside Luke's X-Wing, Lando's Falcon, and Vader's TIE Fighter fleet. The quest could be blasted through in less than two hours, and even if it's often only remembered for its first few minutes of tow cables and probe droids, Shadows of the Empire is considered one of the better licensed games on the N64. Despite the fact that Dash was a minor character in the novel, story adjustments were made to help the hero take center stage. Finishing the game on easy made it appear as if Dash died in the destruction of the Skyhook. So did the books. On medium and above revealed he escaped into obscurity. The following September, Shadows was cast on a PC with polished visuals, animated cutscenes, and an accomplished list of voiceover talent. Well, the only thing about the CD version is have more players, so that way 10 people can have four difficulties, but the N64, only one person can have all four difficulties. But even so, so that's my favorite Star Wars story I ever read, and, and that's the entire interview. So, and I want to thank everyone for watching this video, and I hope, hope to he hear and see from you. I'm everyone again, and I also hope hope you'll write good comments and, and be kind enough to rate it and maybe even subscribe. I've been sent me an invite, so until next time, take care.